Good day everyone, you're watching Rate You Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to create polls in email messages and review the results in um, Microsoft Outlook. Now, this is applicable for all the versions of Outlook from Office 365 to Outlook 2010. Now, only criteria to have this um, options available is that you need to have a microsoft exchange account and that is must without a microsoft exchange account you will not be able to see polling options in the outlook now to in, in order to enable the polling option what you will have to do is um, you will have to compose a new email or click on create new email in my case i have a microsoft exchange account configured in the outlook now uh, once you compose a new email you will have to go to options under options you will see an um, using what voting buttons right here now there are a couple of options here now these are by default approve or reject yes or no yes no or maybe and if you click on custom um, the custom options will allow you to uh, type the different types of answers for example if you want to type um, an additional option you will have to type a semicolon and type the next option yes or no and uh, here if you want to select request a delivery receipt for this message you can check this option to make sure that this email message has been delivered to the recipients what you are looking for and uh, click on close what this will do is um, you will see a message saying that you added a voting buttons uh, to these messages now once this is done and you will uh, if you click on the voting button uh, use voting buttons you will see what votings you have selected so in my case I have selected approve reject yes and no and uh, here as soon as you select the voting button you, uh, you can go ahead and type the email whom you want to send this email message to in my case I'm going to send it to myself test voting and I'm going to send it so as soon as the voting button has been sent now when the recipient receives an email this is how the uh, voting options uh, the user would see for example uh, if a user opens that email you he will see an option which says vote by clicking vote in the respond group above right here respond group above an additional uh, button has been added um, along with reply reply all and forward so here you can select the vote uh, so i'm going to click on approve and uh, the user will get this option send the response now click on ok and automatic email will be sent from the recipients outlook so when the recipients receive this email um, this is how the option would look like it says approve test voting this is the voting which has been received now to track the what voting you have received what you will have to do is you will have to go to sent items under sent items open the email which you have sent so this is the email which i have sent and uh, right along with the respond option there would be an uh, option which says tracking which will be enabled for the voting um, email which you have sent if you click on tracking it will show how many of them have uh, voted for this email so this is how you can go ahead and uh, use the voting option in outlook i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day